plank? A wombax? What is this place? Well, here we are. The Farious City. This is a pretty cool place. I, oh man, I love this game so much. The planets and the worlds are just astonishing. Like, this, this whole atmosphere is awesome. And uh, it's only going to get cooler, as uh, you'll soon see. Um, I don't think don't need to really collect bolts, because they don't really... There's no armor to buy, um, so I've technically got nothing I need to buy. Like, I'm, there's no weapons, you know. But, I may as well. Guess it'd be cool to see how many bolts I have by the end of the game. Yep. You sure are, yeah. That, that sounds about right. Hey. Oh, wait a second. You forgot your order. Well, come right in. <laughs> Miss Zircon will sell you weapons, but you gotta be less conspicuous, or the resistance will not last. The resistance? Oh, apologies, sugar. Miss Zircon is still new to all of this. Get off planet. It's a test. Only royal starships are allowed to leave anything else. Phantom can help. Just follow the beat to Club Nefarious and you will find him. Club Nefarious, got it. Oh, and nice work, Secret Agent Zircon. Oh, oh, oh. This is so exciting. What's Club Nefarious? All right. Well, we won't go to Club Nefarious just yet, because I want to go down an optional path. There are two things down here, so uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go and explore them. Because I've played this game three, three times now, <laughs> um, I sort of know where everything is. Um, so yeah, I'll, um, I'll, I'll, show, I'll show it all off. It'd be silly not to. Um, so yeah, we well, need to go up here. Um, I couldn't remember if there was anything down the side. Um, so yeah, we've uh, we got a lot to a lot to find, a lot to do. Um, so if you're looking for 100% completion, like for your own playthrough, um, this will show you how to do it, I guess. Um, like this is a proper walkthrough, just with the wrench. <laughs> could you? Uh, I was gonna say, could you not run away? Like I need to destroy you. Oh, two hits is pretty impressive. Two hits actually is very impressive. I like that. There we go, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, you're not gonna stop me, not at all. Easy, easy, I say. So I think the game sort of wants you to come back here after you've done other stuff, but I've never done that. Um, it's probably better to come here after you've done other stuff on the planet, because um, you get a different ability soon um, after you go to the, the club, um, which certainly will help with uh, sections here. Um, but I'm not gonna do that. So, <laughs> yeah, basically it will help to uh, dash on top of these crates and stuff. But again, I don't really need to. So, <laughs> I, I have other ways. So here is our first gold bolt of the game. It's just over there. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You just, uh, you know, zoom around. Um, and you may notice you uh, you have the hover boots already. Um, the hover boots are pretty cool because obviously you don't have clank, um, so you you won't be able to do the heli heli pack and stuff. Um, although like the the heli pack leap that um, that the game does uh, and has always done since the first one isn't actually in this, even as you're playing uh, as rivet. 
uh, which is kind of interesting. Um, but, uh, I mean, they both go off a boot, so you don't really need it. Um, but it's just interesting, because it's not there. Oh, bye. <laughs> that was easy. I'm trying so hard not to put my finger on R2. It's so natural to do so. Um, it's quite it's quite weird. Um, there are some Rar there's some Raritanium there. Raritanium will allow you to upgrade weapons. We're obviously not going to be doing that. Um, but just for the sake of it, I will show off how I get it. This is definitely not the intended way. But this is my way. So... <laughs> And, uh, yeah, you're supposed to wall run, which we don't have that ability yet. Uh, which is why I think they sort of expect you to come back here later. But I say no! <laughs> I say we come here now! And it works just fine. So, yeah. I mean, we could come back later. But, it's boring. Let's come now. Let's do it the, the definitely unintentional way. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, it works, like, it's not like I'm breaking anything. But, uh, yeah, there is a... So, in past Ratchet games, your wrench was powered up depending on your health. Like, once your health upgraded, your wrench also upgraded. I don't think... I, d I don't know if that's the case this time. I'm genuinely unsure. Um, I will... I guess we'll find out as the game goes on. Woo! Boy. Um... But I know for sure there is a... Uh, so when you, once you collect armor in the game, there are like armor parts. And each part yields uh, a different... Um, like a different bonus uh, to that shit. So it might be extra defenses, or uh, against certain enemies. Or in one case, it actually boosts the power of the wrench. And now you don't have to have the armor on, which is really nice. So like it, it gives you the power without... Um, like, you can, you can wear the armor if you want, but, like, just collecting the armor is what gives you the ability, which is really nice. Um, because I don't really like having the armor on, because I think back in with it, without it, looks cool. Um, but I know, obviously, some people would want the, would want the armor on, and, yeah. But, yeah, so it's, uh, it's good for, you know, you can, you can do both. Um, are we done? Nope, sorry, did not see that. Maybe the last one. Yep, that went very well, I think. Um, so yeah, there you go, Spybot. I think honestly that was quicker than when I used weapons. Uh, so the Spybot basically unlocks the Rhino. Uh, find all ten, and yeah, you uh, you indeed do get the Rhino. And it is free, like once once you get the Rhino, it is indeed free. Uh, so that's very cool. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's go to Club Nefarious. Club Nefarious is this way, I believe. Um, yeah, you can see it because of the giant neon sign sort of leading you in that way. Uh, or I can go up here and get a little bit of Raritanium. I like Raritanium. It's nice. It's satisfying. It does nothing for me. Um, no, I, I just want to collect bolts in this playthrough to see how much I have by the end. I'm actually genuinely quite intrigued. It'll be interesting to find out. Um, but before we go that way, I just want to go over here. Because right here, there is a Krager Bear. Um, now they don't really do anything apart from there are there is one in every single planet, um, and once you collect them all, uh, you get a trophy, and that's it. It's literally just a trophy. I don't think there's anything more that yields, um, but I mean it's not not complaining by any means. Um, and also there's one of these. Um, these little little rifts are basically uh, little platforming challenges, which I love. They're super fun, like. Honestly, I wish there were more of them. I wish there was like a like a a bonus world with like 10 of them where they're super hard difficulty because they are incredibly fun. And the platforming in this game is without a doubt the best in the series. It is so fun with how many things they can string together with the amount of uh, move sets you've got in this game. So I would personally love to see more of them even if it was like DLC or something. I would love it. It would be great. But uh, for now, we do have these, and they are fun as hell. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the Craigslist Bear, um, that's what I call them, just because I never really remember what they're actually called. Um, yeah, they're, uh, they're pretty cool. They're, there's just, there's nine on each planet. Um, the thing with collectibles in this game is, you've got a map, um, and there's a, I'll, I'll look at that in a second. Actually, I'll look at that now. Um, so you can see here, um, damage from the fairest enemies is decreased by 5%, um, and that is just... I've got that now. Uh, if I want to wear it, I can. 
uh, or I don't have to, but regardless of whether I wear it or not, I do have that bonus, which is really nice. Um, and also on the collectible side of things, uh, we got red skins, so we can see what colour um, our, our skins are. Um, is is gold? Yeah, I quite like gold. Gold is nice. Um, so, yeah. Um, but anyway, I was saying about the map. Um, so the map's actually really handy, because it does uh, tell you uh, where items are. So, if you've passed it on the map, so say I had... Say the gold bowl in the warehouse I missed, uh, for example. Um, uh, in fact, there's a gold bowl uh, right here. Um, is that? I'm trying to remember what gold bowl that is. Oh, yeah, no, 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 I know. Um, so there's a gold bowl right there. Um, and, yeah, like, because uh, I've passed this point in the map, it shows me, um, you know, if it is here. Same with the Raritanium. Um uh, later on, there's going to be a mathematic that um, can just tell you where things are without you having to having explored the map. The Craigslist bears will never show up on um, on that map, uh, even with a mathematic. You just have to find them. Um, I do know where they all are. Um, I certainly hope I remember them when it comes to finding them in each planet. Um, but yeah. And uh, the amount of Craigslist bears, it did say how many there were, that kind of implies how many planets there are. Um, so, some people, I've heard some people complain that the game is um, too short, especially because it only has nine planets. And you could argue that, it technically has ten, because uh, um, Megalopolis doesn't actually show up on the uh, planet listing. Um, you could argue that. But, the planets in this game are significantly larger than anything the series has had before. If you look at the original trilogy, yes, the original trilogy had like 15 to 20 planets, but they are short. Some of them take like 5 to 10 minutes, if that. Um, some of them are just very quick, especially if you're like not going for extra collectibles. This game, some planets are like an hour long, so <laughs> it's huge and very exciting for that reason. That seems easy enough. Thanking you. Mysterious dude in a hollow guy had to be Phantom. Phantom, wait. Who are you? I'm ahead of you. I'm Ratchet. I'm Ratchet. I'm the person who's gonna beat you to wherever it is you're going. It's quite funny, really. I saved you, Phantom. Now wait up. Oh, we're supposed to jump down. I thought we were gonna like use um, a swing shot thing. But yeah, uh, I yeah, I, I as, as I say, I, I love this game. It is phenomenal. I, I can't tell if it's my favorite yet. Like I love Ratchet Three with all my heart, uh, and uh, I haven't replayed Kraken Time. I loved that game as well, uh, so I don't remember how like great it is in that respect because it's been a while since I played it. Um, but yeah, I do love this game. It has a couple of... I've encountered a couple of glitches. Nothing, like, super bad. Like, there's always a workaround. So, like, if the game has, like, a prob... Like, I've had one time where it softlocked me. Um, like, sort of permanently. But that's only because I've been... There's, so there's a resume and there's a load function. Resuming it will keep me in that state. But loading, it actually backs up your save quite a bit. Like, it's got, like, ten backups. Ten recent backups. So... Yeah, every auto save is actually super helpful, and it, you can you won't lose that much progress if something like that were to happen. Obviously, it's not great that it does happen, but I'm sure they're going to be fixing it. It's just um, it's just unfortunate that that happened. But the game is absolutely phenomenal, and I just I love it. I love it so much. Um, so I honestly I don't care. Like I don't care that it's got glitches. Um, and honestly, like. It's, it's interesting because I've not really had time to think about how I feel about the game properly on the basis that I've just played it non-stop for the last week, you know, like, so it's, it's a game that I haven't stepped away from to, to, you know, really think about, but I'm sure I will, uh, soon, um, and also, I guess, 
the awkward. The, yeah, I'm sure the wrench only playthrough is really going to help cement how I feel because the wrench only playthrough, as frustrating as it is almost certainly going to be, it uh, it just makes me happy. I just love doing them. They're so fun. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. Oh, it's fine. Don't you worry about it. Man, I love how powerful we are. The wrench is so good. Oh, you survived. Well, oh, actually, you might be the one. Either way, uh, not here for long. You don't scare me. Maybe you should, but you don't. Because it's going well. I'm looking forward to the upcoming boss. Because that's going to be the first time where we really see how powerful the wrench is with hyper striking a boss, you know. But so far we've been just doing this kind of thing and hoping it works. Okay, didn't see you there. Um, but yeah, now we're uh, now we're going to properly hyper strike a boss and see just how much power we've got. Nice work, new guy. Thanks. Shh. What is this? Some kind of secret handshake? Hey! What do I do with it? Hmm. All right, new guy. Try out your phantom dash. Phantom this dash? is the phantom dash. So I'm going to go into photo mode, and it's really cool. Like, photo mode has got so much stuff available. Uh, but if you get close to Ratchet, they sort of, he sort of disappears because, you know, that's that's pretty... Fair enough. But like with the camera, you can, you've got an orbit mode um, or a free camera. You can tilt it uh, to see wherever you want. You've got hero visibility on and off, bolt visibility on and off, uh, pick up vis visibility, uh, visual effects uh, replays it. So you can actually, you actually go into camera mode in cutscenes, um, but it will just lock it in place. You can't move the camera, but if you play on visual effects, it will replay the cutscene. Um, field of yeah, uh, field of view, like there's the exposure, focal distance, there's, there's a lot going on. Frame selection, so you've got different filters, uh, which is really cool. Um, the, yeah, there's loads here. Um, some are weird, but I actually really like them. Uh, fish eyes, pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's there's loads of really great stuff uh, here, which is just pretty fun to, to mess around with. Uh, frame selection, so you've just got a bunch of frames, uh, which I quite like. Um, it's it's just it's it's a really good mode. Don't worry, there is a reason for me showing this bes besides just the fact that it's cool. Um, you got vignettes like all this stuff, and then you've got if you go into Super Square, you can uh, you can do different posing, so you can have different weapons. Obviously, we'd only use the wrench because that's insane. Um, but you got different poses, which is cool. Um, and I think it varies if you like you unlock more as the game goes on as well by collecting gold bolts, which is cool. Um, so I like that kind of stuff. Uh, you've got lighting, so you can select lights. You've got natural lights, so you can move where, like, the sun is placed and stuff. Um, and then you've got stickers. Um, so why have I done this? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Go into photo mode with a phantom dash. Um, and you're about to see why I love it. Because it is extremely cursed. Oh, have they fixed it? No, they can't have. No, they have not. They have absolutely not. Um, so yeah, do you, do you like seeing inside Ratchet's eyeballs? I do, there they are. Um, we can, I, I'm sure I can do something weirder with this. Yeah, this is, this is pretty cursed. Um, like there's, there's, you can, you can, I just want to like line it up perfectly because I've seen like his jaw and stuff and it's, it's very, very creepy. I do like it though. Um. It's just because just it's stupid. Yeah, there you go. There's a good old teethy boy. Um, you know, he just, he looks good. He looks pretty snazzy. <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, you can hide the UI as well. But yeah, it's just, uh, it's just cool stuff. I, I like this a lot. Um, the photo mode is really cool. But yeah, if you go into the, the, fan, the phantom mode, yeah, you can, you can see inside Ratchet, which I like. <laughs> it's just silly. Um, I figured uh, you would enjoy that, just knowing that fact, because um, you know it's cool. But uh, yeah, the phantom mode basically means that the um, movement in this game is so much nicer because you've not only got um, the, the hover boots, you've got this dash, and you can wall run, and yeah, there's there's loads you can do with this, and it just it makes the combat so 
not combat, uh, the, the platforming is so fun. Like, the platforming has always been good in Ratchet games, and it's always been around, but I feel like since the first Ratchet game, combat took more of a priority, and it's not to say that that's a bad thing, because... Oh, no. <laughs> My double jump did not want to work there. Um, yeah, that's not to say that's a problem, because um, uh, it's not. Um, and obviously combat was in the first game, but I feel like it was sort of like an even share of platforming and combat, or at least more so, um, than in future games. Um, and yeah, but this game really brings the platforming back into the forefront. It's certainly still 90% combat, don't get me wrong, but the 10% the is more than, you know, 5%. Does that make sense? <laughs> Yeah, you watch me, you scared. It's gonna be good. I'll make you a deal. You see that blimp? You help me take control of it, and I'll help you get into Nefarious Tower. It's the only place in the city you're gonna find a Royal Starship. What's so special about the blimp? Just find a way up to that rooftop. I gotta grab my gear. But I'll meet you up there. Rooftop? How do I get to that rooftop? Like I'm this. Just hang on. Yeah, I, th I think we'll all be in safe hands. The good thing about the Phantom Dash, and I'm gonna have to practice using it a lot more, is it does basically put you in a state of invincibility as you're using it, which is very handy. Um, so I'm going to have to, I guess, practice utilizing it a lot more, especially against uh, very powerful bosses, because, oh boy, like, some of these bosses are not going to mess around. Um, I'm looking forward to it, though. Like, genuinely, some of the bosses in this game are some of my favorite in the series. Uh, the final boss is by far my favorite final boss in, in the series. It is amazing. Um, I absolutely adore it. But, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have a good time. So I could. I, oh yeah, she's gonna. So she's gonna teach me about Rarotanium, and I sort of have to do it. This is the tutorializer. Um, it's uh, showing me that I can buy. So yeah. Just. So yeah, now I've unlocked accuracy. Well, that's great. Okay, I've done it. Bye. Cool. I'm never going to use that again. Thank you. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, I hope to never speak to you again. Actually, that's not strictly true. So, Mrs. Zircon can give me health, um, but this doesn't work in the same way it would in other games. So, in Ratchet PS4, I really liked using the vendor because I thought as long as I could get to a vendor, I could heal. Mrs. Zircon, however, hides if there's an enemy nearby, so I can't utilize that in the same way. Not a problem by any means, just an interesting fact that this is actually a little different here and there. Which is cool. Like, it's not a problem. I mean, like, in the original games, I couldn't heal with the vendor. Um, but it's just interesting that there are differences like that um, that are going to come into play here. But, uh, yeah, no, this, this, is, this section is, like, I guess one of the first sections of the game where you're like, okay, this isn't going to mess around. There's a lot going on. Um, and that's good. Because there is a lot going on all the time. The, the combat in this game is hectic and fun as hell. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping well. I always hope for the best. God, this is a very powerful wrench, I must say. You got that other enemy from miles away. I thought I saw another enemy. Uh, I do see one. I don't know where it's firing from. Though. Oh, it's up there. Yeah, enough. Now it is. Go, 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 go. Bye. Lovely stuff. Bye. Oh man, it's so satisfying to use the wrench in this game. Oh, hello. Oh, God, I, I absolutely adore this. Like, I'm, I'm, 
Like, I love Wrench Only playthroughs, but I, this is one of my favourites so far. It's just so fun to play. It's so fast. You, you, Ratchet moves so fast between combos, like, I don't have to think about it, which is great. I can string a lot of stuff together because of it, and I'm sure it's just going to become more natural as the game goes on. Do you know what I might do? I might even do, like, a bonus video of doing the final boss in the hardest difficulty or something. That could be fun. And terrifying, but fun. Give it a go. Depends on how hard it is naturally, I suppose. But if it is actually as... Like, if I get into the groove and it works really well for me, then maybe. Man, this area went so well! Like, that was easy. <laughs> She'll help you get onto the Emperor's private shuttle to the tower. <laughs> Access consoles in that huge statue of Nefarious in the center of the city. Just hook her up, and she'll handle the rest. What are you doing? Tearing this whole rotten world down from the inside. Huh? Stay strong, brother! How do you expect me to get to the bazaar from here? I like this. Simple enough. Work. So, there was one oh, thing, if we look at the map, there was one thing we've not collected, and that is a gold now. belt. Whoa, and that was because we did not have the ability to run before. Glitch, get a starship, and then find Clank on Sargasso. Sounds easy enough. I'm on my way, buddy. Just hang in there for a little bit longer. So we're going to head back to the beginning of the level. Um, where is that? That is over here. Um, so actually, before we do that, um, this before, we couldn't pass through it. I didn't really pay attention to it. But with the Phantom Dash, you can! So, haha! -ha. Just a bunch of bolts and some Aritanium, but it is worth collecting. Like, there's a fair amount in there. Um, certainly for early game. Like, 400 and something for early game is really nice. <laughs> Yeah, you may see that wall run. Um, this is where we uh, started, if you recall. Um, this is that's the door we opened. Uh, up here is the landing pad. When we, if we ever decide to return, uh, we probably won't. But if you want to, you can. Um, but uh, yeah, here's uh, just a little wall running section. Here is the final guild boat. It's pretty cool. So it's a nice little, uh, nice little section of the the world. I, I like it. And then we can just, uh, I think, jump down here. Yeah, just jump down here and you're back. And it's actually, this is where the bear was. So uh, it actually leads quite nicely into it. It also leads nicely into the uh, to the portal, the rift portal, if you've not gone into it. So that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it is time for a boss fight. Let's see how this goes. It's either going to go well or badly. So let's see. I hope well. Aha! That has to be the access console. Okay, you are not going to die easily. Ooh. Whoa, that's cool. I mean, I don't know why I expected you to die instantly. Like, of course you're not going to. I love this so much. It's so good. I'm going to try and pay attention to only the Juggernaut because... Oh, hello. It seems pointless to pay attention to the enemies as well. Because I'm not going to be here for too long. Uh, I might try and get my health back now because we are not going to be here for long. I don't know when. I can't remember exactly how much health you're at when we get back, but can't hurt to try and get it back to maximum. Oh boy! This is insane. <laughs> I love it though. Here we go. Twenty percent left. Yeah, this is going very well. I just, I can't get over how powerful we are. Man. This is going so well. 
The mage is so powerful. My god. Wow. There you go. Level up. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think the uh, the hammer is probably going to do the same sort of thing. The hammer is going to be also extremely powerful. Um, but yeah, here we are going to meet Glitch. Yeah, hi. You must be Glitch. I'm Ratchet. Sorry for all the jostling around earlier. Things aren't exactly going well, and actually, I think you're the only one who can help me right now. Now, when it comes to wrench only, I state that if you're using a gadget or an external vehicle um, that's mandatory, that's okay. So in this case, when I fire these guns, that's fine because this is a gadget. When I fly around breathing fire later, that's okay because it's a mount uh, and I have to do that. It's not going against the rules. It is you. It's not utilizing a different weapon for Ratchet or Rivet. Um, that said, if you want to go pure, you can skip these puzzles. Uh, if you hit skip puzzle, you'll basically warp to the final. Like you have to watch like the celebration screen, but beyond that, it will just skip the entire puzzle. I won't skip the puzzle for the uh, the sake of playthrough, uh, but it will skip the puzzle for you. Um, so that's quite nice. Um, and that's the same for the the clank puzzles later on. That's the same with the clank puzzles. If you don't want to do them, you don't have to. You can just outright skip them. I really like the glitch puzzles. Um, they're a lot of fun. Uh, I'm, I don't think I'm particularly. Ooh, hello. I don't think I'm particularly. Actually, can you go into photo mode with these? Oh, you can. Oh my god, I want to get a better look at these terrifying monstrosities. They are genuinely horrifying. Um, oh, this is super cool. Oh, you can get presumably get a good look at glitch as well. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, no, these things genuinely scare me. <laughs> they are horrifying. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, if you don't want to do puzzles and stuff, like you're you're playing um, challenge mode and you just want to level up your your weapons or whatever, um, you can do that. You can just skip the uh, you can skip all of them, and that's really cool. I like that a lot. But glitch is cool. Gl glitch is a really cool uh, addition to the game. But uh, I think now's just cutscenes, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, share the video around. I also have a Twitch, Twitter, and a Patreon if you'd like to support me in the channel. And next time, we'll be playing as Rivet. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye bye. Good on you, Ratchet, using the wrench. What a top lad. Ha 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 ha! 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 Ha 